All right, everybody, welcome, welcome back, welcome back to one more episode of the King's Cave 80. Oh, yeah. Podcast, uh, collector's podcast, the collection, the... The non-collectors. The non-collectors, the, the, the Funko collectors, the... <laughs> ca the yeah, yeah the, the hater of Carlos collectors. Oh, my, here we go. Uh, yeah, how's everybody doing? Thank you, thank you, thank you for, for coming back. Thank you for supporting. What episode? What episode? 31. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, he's, on point. I he's on think, point. I think, I think I'm right in he's this on time. Point. I, I think I'm right this time. 31, 31st. Okay. Um, so, yes, well, we're back. We're just, you know, chilling, vibing, gliding. And buying, bit. going broke. Buying, going, yeah, man. <laughs> Honestly, I... I I'll ask you how you're doing, but honestly, in my, my perspective, I gotta slow down after that um, crazy frenzy I went with the oh, muscle, muscle mods. mods. I mean, I, I I'm I still kept buying here and there. Yeah, but it was a it was a crazy frenzy. That's I wish I would have more money because the the lady had more stuff to. to oh, she to, did. She had a lot more stuff. Oh and, wow! You know, I missed a couple of prototypes that she had too, and she mm. had like extra. Like I, I feel like I could have just, but if I had the money, but it was, it was a lot of money. It was a lot of money. There was no way that I would be. I was so happy. You look so happy this wall. You make it. But it was, it was so like so sodding. Like I, I, I wouldn't have time to sell enough to make up for the. I think you have enough clientele that people want your some some of your collection. I, I think so. Yeah, but then at the same time, I don't know. It was, it was a weird situation. It was fun, but it was a weird situation. And I think it just connects without I me mean wanting to it connects to the to the topic that we wanted to talk today but uh but no yeah it was it was it was a little bit of a of a fun weird fine stressful at the same time because she had <laughs> figures on hold and then there was another collector also looking after the same figures uh -huh. and then there's uh, always that one guy man that makes it was, things yeah, yeah. puts it up and more I, didn't know, I didn't know the guy until he reached out to me because I got some pieces and then he was like, oh my God, don't tell me you got this prototype. I wanted it. And I'm like, yeah, but then you got the other ones. And then, then mm -hmm. I got some of the sketches and he had some of the sketches too. So basically the lady split up the, the, the big lot. The lot. Okay. Uh, and he got one part. I got one part, but now crunch numbers and all that. Like there was no way I was, I was going to be able to mm. like, I mean, at I the end of the day, you, that, you, you see, I don't have that much. <laughs> that yeah, much. exactly. Hey, I have poor, a limit. Have poor a guy, limit. he has the sand. Poor guy, he has a prototype. Shout I feel out, bad. Man. I feel it's, bad. It was, no, it was, it was tough. <laughs> it was tough. Um, but yeah, and I feel like for 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 once, I had to kind of like slow down a little bit because you know it was it was a big, mm -hmm. it was everything in just a little time lapse of of a, of a three weeks or a month, and it was like a big chunk of money. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. More than what I was spending at like two, three months or probably two, three months, I spent it in one month. I was like, oh, shit. Um, but it was w once in a lifetime yeah, opportunity. There, there you go. Mm -hmm. um, but, but now it's kind of like a combination. I feel like it's good because a few figures kind of like popped up and I was able to grab them. At a lower, hey, hey, a hey, lower, hey, lower that, pace. That's I was going to say, yes. And then yes. Now, nowadays it's kind of like, for what I'm looking, it's dry out there. For well, what I'm looking, I think I think some of those pieces that you got for that for that a good price. I don't think that's ever gonna happen again. I mean, oh no 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 I, no! I the muscle mods. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, don't get me wrong. It was a lot of money, mm -hmm. but if you price everything individually, it was really good price. Yeah, I'm just saying it was a lot of pieces and a lot of original. I remember you telling me, "I'm not like, gonna get nothing." There you go. The next oh, week, buy something. A lot, a lot of. <laughs> original work and all that and well that was that was yeah amazing. man i mean it's i felt like awesome. you all went through through it with with me because i kind of the was, journey yeah, yeah the journey so you you kind of like felt but now i feel like it's a little bit like slower i, I don't have much coming up huh um, that's not, weird i know no no but for real for real i only have one package coming from spain and that's it that's all <laughs> and i bought that figure like probably like a month ago it was just okay it was, uh, somebody was holding it for me so so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much chilling so, right so now. So let me ask you this: um, What's next on your collection? <sighs> I, I always say that, but I feel like every time it becomes more and more real. I feel like unless I start a new line, mm -hmm. 
then if I start a new line, I will start like looking for the smaller pieces and all of that. But I feel like I'm looking to to buy those and complete those okay. rare lines, red tour lines, co- like muscle mods, which is almost like a that may are possible. Yeah, yes. and trying to complete uh, tiger sharks, which okay. also pretty hard out there. Uh, Saint Seiya, uh, the funky pet. From Dragon Ball. Oh, you get you're getting close on that I'm one. I'm only too, missing huh? one, actually. Wow, yeah. that's the one the one that I ca- I have coming from Spain is one of those. Is the it was exclusive from France. Is the only one that it came in, in a blister. Every oh, okay, all, okay. all of all of the rest came up on a on, on a little box. A box. So that's the one that I had coming, but I already had had that one. So I'm only missing one really. Hmm. And you see, like it's it's just very few pieces. And then there's pieces that kind of like like I said, I, like, I feel like we mentioned in our episode, like those figures that you're not looking for them, but they find you. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, if you follow me on Instagram, the last little reel that I posted, I believe it was yesterday, it was a little card that oh, jumps up and down yeah. with, with the little that, that Frankenstein. Little wind up, yes. I never even heard of it. I never seen it before. I didn't know it even existed. But when, when one of the guys that I buy from, he posted it, I'm like, it was damn, like, man, love at first sight. Yeah, when I see it, like, the thing is awesome, dude. I, I seen it, like, and then he told me, I got it. I, I figured. I figured. It was, it was, <laughs> and, and it has all the really monsters. Cool piece. But but what it sold me was that, is that, that Frankenstein is the one driving. Oh, okay. That's what it sold me, honestly. Okay, okay. okay. But uh, I just actually, the, the action of the car, I thought it was the so action, cool, everything, man. And, that, that, and then the stickers are pretty, like, neat and everything. So, well, that, the, that figure well, I was I was look I wasn't looking for it. I didn't even know that existed. But, but there's one more figure that that came to you in your collection too. Mm-hmm. Do you know which one it is? Oh my god, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I don't want to talk about it. It's a piece of crap. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Nah, <laughs> come on, man. Don't bring that into the podcast. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> this one came to your collection. Look at this. Where's the trash can? <laughs> so, so, so let's talk about there you it. Go. Let's <laughs> talk about it real quick. That piece came to you. See, see, and, and, see what, see what you do. <laughs> I was trying to support your stream. I was trying to support your one nut. I purchased the one figure that I, I was so busy on that day. I was also working. I was just trying to support the stream. I'm like I'm gonna buy one figure, uh, and then you put up that one, and I had to go I'm like, all right, I need to win this one, and I like. I know you had it in you. Piece of crap. <laughs> I know you had it in you. I know you wanted it. Shit, no. <laughs> and, and it's missing the belt, so that's one of the rare pieces you want yeah. to complete. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I ain't got time I, to I'll complete hope you find it. I hope you find that belt. Hopefully brother. it's for free. <laughs> it's for free, then. I'll All throw right. it in for free. Okay. Uh, but anyways, yeah, no, I, I'm not. I'm not. So what I'm looking for, um, or like what I'm looking after in my collection right now is just kind of like, Completing, completing some lines, okay. Um, and that's samurai uh, pizza cats. I, I think that makes things fun too. Honestly, if you ask me, when you complete a line, like wow, I'm actually now mm-hmm. done with the with the um with the knife force, the GI Joes I had. Oh my gosh, because you know I'm elbow cracks. I'm you know I mean, I'm crazy yeah. about all that stuff. So trying to find each piece that's like clean and clean with no elbow cracks is now once you finally get that final piece, like man, and then of course the night boomer. That's like yeah. just icing on the cake. I was oh my gosh. Like no, it, no, it is it is a, a satisfaction that I probably mm-hmm. haven't had for that many collection. I don't think that I have that many complete. And I've and I've said this before. I think I do it unconsciously on purpose. Mm-hmm. That I don't finish my toy lines to kind of keep the keep to keep the, the energy, hunt yeah, alive. There you go. Yeah. The one that I have, I would say, p- pretty much complete is the Toxic Toxic Crusaders. Mm-hmm. That one's pretty much complete. Uh, even with the bootleg and everything, yeah. But um, and then the closest one will be probably dinosaurs. But I'm missing the whip, the weapons, which I could have purchased and even, but I didn't want to because I, I don't know. I feel like for some reason I don't want to have it. It's weird because I want to complete it, but I oh, want wow. I want to have something. But okay, let me ask you: Are those are those accessories rare? Yeah. So I would have got them. Being the, being the rare, I know. The rare I, know. I feel like I slowed down. And once I get into another, another toy lines for me, it's hard for me to put certain amount of money. Like, it doesn't hurt me to put, and I don't, I don't want to say prices, but because then people think that I'm arrogant. 
But, mm-hmm. well, let's say I, I don't I don't mind putting in a figure like five hundred or a thousand dollars if it is a line that I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. But if it is a line, like if you're trying to sell me something, like right now, if you're trying to sell me something for street sharks okay. or ninja turtles, collections that I do collect that I that I like, mm-hmm. but I'm not actively hunting. Yeah, it hurts me to pay, even if it is cheap. It happened to me recently. Okay. For that, uh, and you know that I just bought a uh, uh, ten buck Mikey uh, nunchucks, the beaded, yeah. the, the beaded uh, nunchucks, <laughs> and I got it. And it was like it was. It's a nice figure, and I was like, I should have been more excited. And I saw it for I, what I thought it was a fair price, and I like I just put it oh, off, tempted, but whatever, just to kind of like give yeah. the guy some some feedback, whatever. And then like, he contacted me and like, I'll give it to you for, for cheaper. I'm like, no, nah, thank you, man. And then he went even lower. And then he went even lower to the point of like, you I feel like no, yeah. I, you can say no. And then I got it. But since I'm not focused on, on turtles, paying for a figure like that much, mm-hmm. like a thousand or whatever, because it was a graded figure. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I got it. And I'm like, but I'm not hunting for turtles. I, so I kind of like it, but I mean, I I I think it was weird. It was weird. I, I get I get what you're saying. I mean, but at the same time, I always look at it. Look, look at the bright side. You got to beat it, Chucks. I mean, that's something you could replace from your personal your, or your other original collection. I know I can do a lot of things with it, and I know I should be happy about it. And, and probably I will. Why don't you throw be. it away like you just throw away that Give Mikey? It to me. I'll, I'll throw it away. <laughs> I want you to have that same energy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, nah. But it was it was. I don't know. It's, it's just weird. I, I mean. I love Ninja Trolls, but since I'm not actively yeah. hunting for it, it was a, a, a like I couldn't resist the price mm-hmm. type of deal. But when I got it, I was like, ah, I should have used those that money to to go for another figure of yeah. the ones that I'm hunting, and then maybe come back later and, and purchase a, mm-hmm. purchase something similar. But and I, I I I know exactly what you're telling me because I go through the same thing that from time to time. I'm like, mm, I want it. Now if it's a rare. Dino I, I I disagree with that. I think I would have picked it up if I had the opportunity, being that how rare it is. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I fall into that trap where I pay more than what I need to, <laughs> because no, me I, too. I know I'm not gonna find it, but it. But at the same time, it's a line that I'm not actively looking for at that point in time. But if I if I know it pops up, I'm like crap. Now I have to detour and get this piece because I feel like that's 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 the feeling, like the the, the detour, like they're taking me longer. I could have used that money mm-hmm. to the ones that I'm focused right now. I feel like it, it is it is that feeling that I got with that with that Mikey, which is pretty, it's beautiful. I love it. It's graded. It's not. It doesn't have like a super high grade, but still, it's, still, no, it's, still. it's, it's an alpha, you know, seventy five, whatever. Mm-hmm. But but I'm not crazy about it. I haven't even put it out. I haven't even got it to the, out of the wrapper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, but, but you have mentioned that sometimes pieces find you, and when you're you're hunting and you're you're focused on a line, but then there are pieces that find you. Isn't this one that's of those pieces that, that, that find those you? pieces that find me? But that's I get so much more excited about. But that's what I'm saying. That's the but detour. That's the, then? But that's the detour that I'm talking. That's what I was mentioning right now. The detour that, like, say for instance, let's say, let's say you're actively looking for my funky pet, and then here comes a lot of accessories for the dino saucers. I'm sorry, you know, I'm looking for dinos, the the funky pets, but when I see something like this, that no dino saucers doesn't come around all the time. Mm-hmm. I would have picked up those those accessories. I would have, being that that. Being you know, honest, like they're yeah. still up there on, on on eBay. Like I could just go there. No, okay, but I'm, I'm just—it's an example. I'm, I'm just but saying, I totally, yeah. I totally get what what you're saying, and, and it happened to me when when I was hunting for something else, and then I found the the black belt raft accessories I was mm-hmm. looking, or, or I got you know a couple of uh, yeah. undercover accessories that I'm still missing. So I still get them. I still kind of get excited about it. But now that I think about it, now you see, it's a yes, maybe kind of like. Backtrack a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a little bit because then it's a good detour and then it's a bad detour. Because the figures that have, that that found me since like it's like it's, it's like right. a, a love at a first, first sight. Yeah. So you cannot compete with that. Like if it is something that you didn't know it existed and it's so cool and it's so vintage. Mm-hmm. And then when you start looking up, like the fact that you start looking it up and like digging and, and you start finding find, more stuff about it, yeah. And then you get some more and more excited. Mm-hmm. Those are the figures that find you. For me, that's 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 a good detour. 
Like yeah. I don't mind like like that. I'm not hunting actively for for Frankenstein, but I saw it. I like I tried to act cool and I couldn't. I tried to, <laughs> to tell the seller. Shout out to to um, uh, Pristine Art. Yeah. Um. So, but uh, but but now like I have to get it. Like it's mm -hmm. it's a pretty cool piece and and then all right, we made a deal. And when I got it, I was like, this is so cool. And I just posted it on Instagram yesterday. Mm -hmm. But um, but but those type of detours, I like. But then, like, those, I don't know, for some reason. And I could have said no. But again, it was too good to say no. It was it was a weird interaction. It was a weird. And I was kind of half, 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 halfway asleep. I was waking up. Hey, hey, you always I, use that example. No, I, I, told, that I, I told I told the guy like, dude, okay, that's a good price. And I, was, <laughs> I was, I just kind of like had, I just woke up from a long weekend of, uh, uh -huh. of uh, work, and I was like super tired. Uh, and I'm like, oh shit! I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. Let me let me send you the money. I sent him the money, and I told him like, man, I'm halfway asleep. Like, I hope, I hope I'm still as excited when I fully wake up. Mm -hmm. As a joke. But but then I when I was oh, like oh shit what did I do like <laughs> why did I, like anyways so um, I mean I, I don't know how to say it I'm happy because I have the piece mm -hmm. but it's nothing it's, it's not something that I was I looking or hunting yeah. and it kind of made me just I don't know I I could have used that for 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 another one another piece well I mean have you had that happen to you? Like no, no, because I mean, I, I honestly, I think if I spend money on something, it's because I do want it. I, I don't think I ever spend something yeah. on. I don't I, think I, I ever. I'm, I'm kind of like throwing myself under the bus on this one because yeah, it happens. Yeah, I, I'm I'm smarter than that guy, yeah. so just understand <laughs> that. So no, no, but, and that's alright. Yeah, okay. but I, I never, I never, I never honestly paid for something that I wasn't iffy about, or I I, I was iffy about, or I was uh double. But it's a it's a piece that if you would have caught me. Four months ago, mm -hmm. I wouldn't hesitate. You know, so I know I wanted the piece. So don't get me wrong. I didn't purchase something that I didn't want. I'm telling you that the excitement that I wish I would have had. Well, but, but I see, didn't. The, the thing about it, when, but when you're double taking on it, you, you're 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 thinking about it. Me as, as so as soon as I, I spend the money, I pull the trigger or something. It's because I thought about it. it and it could be like within five seconds or mm. one day, depending if it's auction or it's right in front of me. Mm hmm. I make I make I make my best judgment. I'll be like, you know what? I want it. I'm not gonna regret spending money on it. And I'll be excited about it. Mm -hmm. Um because if I don't, I mean there's there's been a lot of stuff that I've had to let go and I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I'm not looking for it. I don't want it right now. And I don't want it. Yeah. I don't want it, but I, I don't think I ever spent something on on an item that I didn't want I didn't at want. that point in time. I, I just that's I think I, that's the way I am because I'm very particular. The reason being because I'm very particular of the pieces that I buy, and if I see if it's like in good condition, I know these things are super hard to find. Yeah, in good condition, and you know I talked about like the knife force or or tiger sharks or whatever line it is. If I see that it's a re it's a really that's the first thing that that triggers me. Like man, I want to pull the I'm gonna pull the trigger on pull this. Yeah. E mm -hmm. Even if I wasn't actively looking for it, and it came my way or I stumbled upon it. Okay. I just I I just can't uh, let it go and I, and I would be happy about it like I said and I know I know but I know what you're saying I understand what you're saying that you're not as excited as as you wanted to be and you feel like man I could have used that money for something else exactly but I mean do you have something else that in mind right now you can I say I do I do I have a lot of stuff I have a lot of but, stuff but to to they, buy to oh. purchase yeah of <laughs> okay. course yeah, always always there's like a long list uh but you know there's also my responsible me trying yeah. to chill anyways but, uh. Wow. So I uh, I have one question. So not any good deal is a good purchase, or that's that's I think yeah. that's what I what I'm coming about. Like it was a, it was a, it was a good deal, but I don't <laughs> think I was uh, I don't think I, I was as happy as I wanted to be or as I thought I was gonna be, right? Because I don't know for some reason I, since I, I I I'm not I wasn't actively hunting for turtles, and, and I don't know I don't know it was it was weird like it usually it usually is. It's usually like if it's a good deal, you, you you get you know your money's worth, and then you're happy about it. Usually, ninety nine percent of the time it is. I'm just using this example, and it's just weird example. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure not everybody has gone through it, or maybe you have. I don't know. 
but um but i guess this time it wasn't it wasn't a, a good purchase i, I guess like it was uh, it's hard to phrase it because it was a yeah, good purchase I was say, you can't say it wasn't a good purchase it was, a good it was. Purchase. anyways let's move on from that let's move <laughs> on from that because that, that's too sad that's too sad it was supposed to, today was supposed to be a, a happy topic it was it was supposed to be i mean about, it, about happy stories yeah, about okay. happy stories okay. last last um not episode. last week but la the last episode in english we're talking about scary stories, right? So mm -hmm. things that that could have gone wrong, or while they collecting, go wrong. or they go wrong while mm -hmm. collecting. And uh, today we wanted to talk about, you know, the opposite, like things that that went your way, that you found something that you weren't expecting, mm. and I, this this fits perfectly because I have stories. I know you have stories. Mm -hmm. We were planning on this. I feel like for the past couple of days, I'm like, why don't we talk about this? You know, since we did it on the on the last episode in English, we did the bad stories. Let's say the good stories. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, you come with a good story. Do you want to talk about it or nah? Well, we can talk about you it. You can talk about it. Yeah, we can talk about it. Because it involves because Isaiah has questions too. We're, we're, <laughs> we're not gonna we're not gonna say names, but I'll talk about it. All right, let's talk about it. All right, so let's start with that one because I feel like it's pretty it's pretty fun. It's very recent. Yeah, when you showed recent. it to me, I was like, "Oh shoot! Like, hey, congrats, yeah. man! Happy for you!" But yeah, I, yeah but I you're hating deep down. But I wish I would have. It would have been me. Yeah, instead. exactly. Well, I mean, if you come over to the store, hey, you see what happened with the bull <laughs> fit? What happened? Man, I, 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 I just, <laughs> it's busy, man. It's yeah. busy, like. So, so of course, um, you know, I've, we talked about this before. I have a store, and um, you know, shout out to Back in Time Toys. Yeah. Um, and there's times that I get. Some rare things come into the store, or you know, in, in people the walk in with yeah, some stuff to sell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, in this case, um, I had a th there was a guy that that sells right next door to me, really good guy. You know, his name is Dan. We're not gonna say names, but I'll say his name. No, he's a, he's yeah, a, he's a, he's a no, good, he's a good no. guy. So he got he got a collection in, and uh, um, this this guy came in, and he, you know, I guess he brought a lot of toys, and you know, he was selling it. And, and I was called over, you know, check it out to us, see if there was anything I was interested in. And uh, I seen this pretty cool little prototype. It's a Slimer, mm -hmm. um, but it's it's a newer. I mean, you know, uh, like I said, it's I a newer. It's a from 2009, but being that it's a prototype, it looked pretty cool. I I got it because it looked cool. I, I didn't get it more so because we talked about this. I don't really collect modern stuff. Mm -hmm. 2009 it, to me is too modern, but being that it's a uh, it's a prototype, it might go for sale. I might mm -hmm. end up selling it. Yeah, but you know it's no, that, but it's a good character as well. Like that, so that, that, that's what I was gonna tell you. Slimer is is one of my favorite characters, and I do I don't have a lot of Ghostbusters things, but I do have a lot of Slimer stuff. Mm, okay. Um. So, you know, everything was said and done. You know, I, I made I made my deal with the guy. You know, I went my way. I let Dan do his his thing, and then uh, you know, later on, I I I get called back over there, and and lo and behold, me there's a there's a. <laughs> I walk and I see a battle cat, you know, from Motu, Motu um, Master of the Universe, and of course I look, I look at, you know, I, as I like usually doing, I, I like looking at the butts, and I looked at the butt, uh, looking at the butt, uh, Dan or uh, uh, <laughs> the battle all, cat, like I said, both, yeah, both, <laughs> okay, all of the above, and uh, sure enough, that that the the tail has some stripes on it, and guys, if you know what that means, if, if, yeah, 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 if you know, you know. And so Let, let's say for the people they don't know, right? So mm -hmm. the first run, or some people say it's the first run of the battle cat. Mm -hmm. Some people said it was the battle cat that was used as a store display. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different, yeah, but different it, opinions. Mm -hmm. I, you said that it was the it's first like run, the first, yeah, first run, first like edition, the, the first the edition. Battle. So the battle cat has more stripes. It has stripes on the tail. On the tail, yeah, it has stripes. The regular doesn't have any. No. All right, so it has stripes on the tail. Mm -hmm. Pretty much and ever and anything vintage. If you get to find the first run, the first the, the older it gets, yeah, the, the more, more sought, the more sought after. after. Yes, sir. And it's usually the pieces that are the first run, the ones that they will put more details in it. And that's that's usually how you identify, right? So when you look at the at the the first run, and even on Ninja Turtles or other figures, like you will see the variant, mm -hmm. and then. I'm Genghis Frog. You have the the tan belt, the, the white, yeah. white teeth, and, and the, the slash yellow belly. Yellow belly. No, what is it called? The, the guy that has a, like a skateboard. Um, Mondo gecko. Mondo gecko. Pain in he knee. used to have the pain pain on the knee, pain yeah. on the eyebrow. They didn't do it. Like um, the pizza face had the the, the knife painted. The knife, yeah. Like they usually will take off details mm -hmm. to make the production faster and yeah. cheaper. Yeah. 
So when you find the ones where the more details is usually tend to be perfect example, the beater chuck Mikey, the beater non, yeah, that one has like a more detail on the non chucks. Uh, that one it will break easily, but also have more more detail on the, on yeah. the non chucks. First, uh, first round, first edition. Yep. So it's always it, it always goes in the in the collector uh, collectibles world. Mm -hmm. First editions is gonna go for, for much. Yeah, more. it's gonna be more sad. Now this battle cat, it's pretty sought after. And then you found one. Uh, con yeah, continue yeah. for the ones that do, don't know. The ones yeah. that need. Sorry about that so, for the explanation. But so of course you know I made I made my deal with Dan, and of course I went home happy like a little like a little schoolboy skipping home, and uh, that's my story. And I'm sticking to <laughs> it. That's, <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> not good. Let's, <laughs> let, let's expand a little bit. How good of a deal do you get? <laughs> talk about it. You made me talk about prices. Let's talk about prices. Uh, you oh, want to talk man. about prices? Yeah. <laughs> yes and no. Yes and no. Uh, okay. I, he knows how much he sold it to you for you. Yeah, he, he knows, but uh, I I bought it for thirty bucks. For thirty bucks, <laughs> yes. And for people they don't know how much you think it goes for. Um, for about thirty five. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> fair, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I got five dollars of profit on it. <laughs> All right, so if you know, if you know. <laughs> if, you know if he's you watching, know. he's probably already looking for it. Yeah, if you know, you know. That's, so uh, it goes for a pretty pretty penny, right? So, mm -hmm. but then he said, yes, I had a question. I, 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 we were talking about this <laughs> off camera, and uh, you're like, what was your question? Did he say, yes? <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would love this, but I'll put it on oh, yeah, the spot. Yeah. I'll put it on the spot. <laughs> and it doesn't happen very often. <laughs> First, congratulations for your good story. Thank, thank I mean, you, sir. I mean, with your scamming. Thank uh, you, sir. I, I'm, I'm going yeah. to be, be very respectful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, my my question is pretty simple. Like, you know this guy. What, why wouldn't you just tell him how much it is? Or this is just something common. You're not supposed to say it. There's not, no edict behind it. Uh, why let like, me let me start let me start a little bit and then you can answer yeah, right so okay. for me it's it, it's not because carlos is here and like that but but i've heard this from so many other collectors and, and toy hunters and they say when you find a good of like too good of a deal like that like knowledge is it's it's what is worth right knowledge so, is power knowledge is power and then i know it's hard for the seller but he didn't get it like for too expensive. He got his money for for what he paid for. And some. He got his money's worth. Mm -hmm. Now, I've seen. This is where the problem or the conflict comes from. I've seen uh, friends of mine like like Raúl being under fire because he finds something pretty cool, or even Matt Hunter. I I don't know him personally, but I've seen videos of mm -hmm. him. And people hating on him because he found a good, like a good deal, a good deal like a piece that the own, the, the seller didn't know what he had, mm -hmm. and he paid what he was like. He's asking me for this much. This is what I'm gonna, you know, awesome. yeah. And everybody, oh, you 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 scam him. You you are like, uh, you should have paid him what it was worth. Uh, mm -hmm. How cheap of you, blah 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 blah. And for me, like that's why knowledge is power. Like like okay. You try to share the knowledge, but now if people don't watch our podcast, it's, it's not like, or, or some of those, or yeah. our video, like, like that's why we watch videos. And I'm not saying that we are super knowledgeable, but we try to always share the knowledge. And, 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 but some people just, they just don't want to hold on to the knowledge. I understand, or they, I understand that that's what, well, I'm not sure, but that's what the hunting is about. Like mm -hmm. finding those pieces and getting at the best price as possible. Right. So this is hunting, mm -hmm. even though, if it was that scale that you got it for so much cheap that it's supposed to be, not mm -hmm. so much. No, no, I, I, I say it was thirty five dollars worth. It. I got it for thirty dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sticking to my story. So, so yeah, it, it's a little bit of what what Yuli said, but remember, um, I'm also a reseller, so I have that mentality as well. I'm a collector, but I'm also a reseller. See, that's the difference between being an, a a full blown collector because if I was a collector. I could use that excuse. Well, I mean, his loss, you know, but I was, a, as a reseller, I could say the same thing. I mean, he profited. He got his money's worth from that lot. You know what I mean? And so it's it's not like he lost on it. Mm -hmm. He's he's still going to profit. Now, he's not going to profit. What, what, you know, if, if I was to tell him what it, what is actually worth, then, of course, he would have told me, well, give me this much for it now. 
And if I have the but it's like it's like, it's like it's like yeah. like you stabbing yeah. yourself like by saying, oh, this goes for and let's say uh, an example like this goes for a hundred dollars, and you could have paid thirty dollars. But then if he did if he doesn't know that that is worth a hundred dollars, like w like will you stab yourself like oh no it's worth a hundred like let me let so, me pay so you I'm, like, I'm guessing I'm guessing and in, in, uh, he said yes you're asking like good morals is that is that kind no. of what you're asking like why you know to is is, is it better to be honest I feel, I feel like it's not no 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 I wasn't okay because I wasn't lying I don't think I don't think you fall into good or bad morals yeah, like, that, well, okay but that's saying because people take it like that. That's mm. what I'm saying. People, so one thing I wasn't. Is, it's one thing that if I lied about it, yeah, and it's it's another thing if I just didn't say anything about it. Because one thing is that when when he becomes like uh, unethic, it's if you go to the store and then the the cashier gives you extra extra cash mm -hmm. or extra cash back, or whatever. I don't know. I don't yeah. know how to say that. Yeah, 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 extra, yeah. extra cash, change, whatever, extra change, change. Yes, would you? Go back and return it. I think he would. I'll, he I'll, I'll, no, I always do. <laughs> no, for real. I always do. I always do. Yeah. And then some, they, they, they look at me weird, like, like, like thinking that I want to complain about it wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. And I usually like, no, you gave me more. And they, they just. Okay. Changed. Let me, I, I got it. Okay. So, so let, let me ask you another one. Uh, we, we've seen stories like this before. What if you seen a bag of $10,000 and it was just sitting there? Which, which, but it, okay. It's sitting in the parking lot. If there's an if there's a person there, no, next no, to you, no, like, no, you it's in a park. So, so would you go to the circle like, hey, I just would found you a kill bag the of money. person? Oh, oh. And would you kill a person that is holding it? Uh, no, <laughs> but if it is if it is laying around there and nobody around it, but what if it's in the property of let's say of the of the, of the store clerk in a gas station or something like that? But still nobody around it. Like, mm. would you say, hey, well, I found a I found a bag of, of if it is next to uh one of those uh trucks that transport money and then you see the bag has a sign like hey dude you dropped one like uh -huh. yes that, that, that's understandable but what i'm saying but if is there's nobody no, yeah. close by to to claim it i feel like i wish i could have the the the, the japanese uh ethics because over there they say if yeah, it is not uh, if it is not yours it's somebody else's mm -hmm. But we're not. We don't have that that that, that <laughs> hardcore here. Because yeah. if I don't if I don't get it, somebody else, some other like some other guy will. Yeah. Crazy is yeah. gonna get it. Like, but if it is somewhere near by and then it matches the description, like, hey, how much you worry? And they're like, if it matches the description, I will, I will return it. Uh huh. But but that's that's ethic or unethic. But whenever if if it was asking you for that money, if it was making that money, if it if like what is what is the no but. On my, part. my question came because I heard the story, but I didn't hear that it was a reseller. So my question came because if you if you are in a garage sale, in a garage sale, and you found a piece like that, would you feel like any percent of percentage of remorse of getting it that cheap, knowing that's that's a lot of that's what lot if of you don't know? What if you know what are you buying? All right, hold on, hold on. No, no, the same situation. No, do you it think could be, wait, it could, it could on, go the other way Carlos around? Bought it, Carlos bought it from the reseller. But the reseller just bought it from the collector, mm -hmm. All right? So neither the collector no, the or the neither. reseller, reseller knew, about, knew it. about it. So you think the reseller felt any remorse buying it for that chip because he didn't know what he was buying? Hold on. Do you think? No, do you th so no, no, no. I, I why will he feel remorse? I understood that there is no problem of what Carlos did because he was a reseller. His job is to know that how much the things are worth or at least i mean that's he's in the game i mean the, the, that's the, that, that's my but point. that's why you do your research but if you're if yeah. you're if you're the one selling if you're a collector if you're the one selling that's why you do your research because if you don't know yeah why would i have to as a reseller why would i have to teach you how much your pieces are worth yeah, yeah, yeah. That way you can stab like you're literally like doing the harakiri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, yeah. I, I, yourself, I, like, I And which that, I actually, actually, like I said, and I'm not gonna sit here and say I haven't. I've I've helped them out a lot on pricing, on on the knowledge of things. I mean, it, and you know, at the end of the day, it's it's a give and take. And so in this case, just like Yuli said, it's 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 always gonna be a controversy. People are gonna see like, man, this guy scammed them. Man, he should have been honest. And then, and then the next guy will be like, well, hey, man, you know, he, he got a good deal. I, w I would have done the same thing. I mean, mm. it, it, there's always going to be an argument for it. And, and, and in my case, I don't feel any remorse 
for the simple fact that I didn't do anything wrong. He got a good deal. I I got I gave him I gave him what he was asking for. I mean, he didn't know what it was. I'm sorry, uh, but I I know. Uh, no. Once uh, I knew, once I knew that this guy was a reseller, it was like, oh no, this was a fair game. He should have known. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it, what happens in a situation that it is the same? It's a, it's the same. It is thing. The same. It so is, even as if a reseller, it's yeah. not your job to 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 tell people how much your collections are worth. You can you can you, you can, can ask do, them. You can even do it with trading. Let's say, for instance, I want to trade. I'll, let's say I want to trade that battle cat to Ulysses, and I say, you know what, Ulysses, I want I want I want your Sam. I have a panther. <laughs> okay, let's use panther then as an excuse. An example, I'm sorry. So, you know, it's my job to know. Uh, you know, it's just a regular battle cat. I don't need it. And and you at least know what it is. If he wants to be honest with me, he can. But I, I think in this case, like that example is a little, it's not good because we're really good friends. But l let's just let's just say that, or let's just say you at least know this, this guy from overseas, all right? or I know a guy from overseas, mm -hmm. and he tells me, hey, I'll, tr I'll trade you for this, and I want this. I mean, the whole point is, of course, when you collect, when you, when you hunt, especially when you hunt, you want to find that piece for the lowest price you can because that's the adrenaline. That's the rush you get. Like, oh, my God, I got a good deal for it. And so people are not going to say, well, you know what? Uh, this is 50 cents, but it's really worth 100 bucks. I mean, you think they're going to, I mean, nine times out of 10, I think a reseller or, or not a reseller, but a collector is going to be like, no, you know, I want I want to find a good deal. Now, if they want to be honest, they can. There's nothing wrong with that either. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. It's it's uh, it's their prerogative. And I feel, question, I feel like this, 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 this good stories. Sorry, you were saying. But my question is, does it exist? People that do that, that they, I think it you does. See, you see, we lady. do it. He does it. I do it whenever I'm not interested in the piece. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it happens. Yeah. <laughs> if I, I, it happens to me, I have oh, okay, okay. I one time help a guy that shall remain nameless because, you know, we didn't end up that good. But uh, but I was looking at his stream. I'm like, hey, look, that's a piece that 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 accessory right there that you got it for like five dollars. It's worth about one hundred and fifty. Was a, a Triceraton, a Shogun Triceraton mm -hmm. piece, and he thought it was a troll piece, a tro like a regular troll. Like and I told him like no that's but I'm not interested because I already have it. Mm -hmm. I'm like make good profit of it. Like I've done that and I'm pretty sure Carlos has done it. We, 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 yeah, and, and that's what I'm <laughs> saying. When I'm not interested yeah. in the piece, mm -hmm. but if I'm interested in the piece, like now now it goes my 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 happy story, the more recent happy story, and we have a lot, but we have to keep moving. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, I I think like this happy story is. Have more controversy than the past story. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I didn't I didn't think I didn't think it was gonna go this way. But this one, it might go to the same kind of like same black category. hole, yeah. yeah. Because I recently, like like I said, I bought this lot of muscle mods, right? So, but the first couple of figures, and I was already spending a lot of money on on on, on these pieces, right? Yeah. Uh, and this this one had like the way that she put it up, basically she stumbled upon. A big lot of muscle, muscle mods. Yeah. She was not a toy collector or a toy seller, reseller. She just found it and just Google or or type on on, be, on yeah. eBay, whatever muscle mods. And then she started like putting random prices, which was cheap. And then she put a screenshot of a gutter. Uh, a gutter is one of the figures, the, yeah. the muscle mods. It was on 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 his cart, right? But it was a screenshot from a conversation. It looked weird, but it was a regular gutter. For those who don't know, there's two types of gutters, those two versions on yeah, muscle mods. Version version the regular one. version, which is, you know, pretty expensive. But then the one that that has like a speaker in the in the mouth, mm -hmm. that goes for a lot of money. It's, yeah. it's less, uh, it's on the second wave. It's less common. It goes for more money, especially on card. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So I was already getting a good deal on the gutter by itself. Like a good deal yeah. for the gutter mock. And then she shipped it, <laughs> and by, to my surprise, when I opened it, instead of getting the regular gutter mock, I got the barking gutter mock. And I'm like, <laughs> I was static, but then I guess you fall on the same topic of, do I return it? Do I tell her that it costs more than what she told me? She told me she was going to be a gutter. She gave me a gutter. I paid for a gutter. Yeah, it was just a uh, uh, the the more expensive gutter. Then and then like technically like, I mean she she, she didn't know she didn't have the knowledge and she she like I didn't force it, I didn't yeah. even know her. I don't even know her. I, she, I wasn't even at her store. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. She was the one to physically grab it, put it on the package, like, package. like. So, uh, but but see, and, and that's what I'm getting at. at. At the end of the day, if if the per if if the reset, if the seller or and the buyer are happy with the transaction. Oh, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty what, sure you was happy. What, what's the, no, I'm saying? What's the problem? Because she got what she wanted for it. It's just like the guy that I got the battle got what he wanted for it. There was no. It, it was a deal. Now, m as we mentioned, knowledge is power. Later, it, she it, later she learned about the prices, and the second and third, she sold it. Like I was like, "Can you sell it for the same price?" She was like, "Nah." I, I like she was mm -hmm. like, "This much." Okay, you learn. Yeah. But still, it was under the price. I was like, "All right, I'm still willing to pay for it." But but you, she learned. But the first one. Okay. For me, it was like a happy story, right? So I got I got the better figure. So Isaiah, as you tell me, you being a, a knock a judgmental right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, um. So you tell me, what's your opinion on this? What's your take? What do you think? Let's flip the coin. Hold on. No, Let's flip quite. the coin. Let's flip the coin. Really easy. You like cameras. You're purchasing a camera and it's a used camera on eBay, <laughs> right? And I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you in, in terms that that okay. you understand, right? And then. And I'm gonna use my terms with Canon because I don't know much about Fuji, the ones that you use, right? But, but you know about Canon too, right? So, but and then you ask for a 50 millimeters, 1.8, the regular, yeah. And then the seller sell, and then you pay for it, which is like five hundred dollars. And then the seller sends you the 50 millimeters series RL with the red line, which is about two thousand twenty five hundred. And then he ship 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 to you. You are like, hey, no, here, well, well, take well, it back, take it back, because I pay you for the, for the same fifty millimeters, but the cheaper one, the plastic one. No, I don't. And the seller tells you, it, oh, I, I just it. found all this equipment, uh, whatever I found it at a, at a garage garage sale, and oh, a fifty millimeter, and then he sends it, he sends you the, the the more expensive one. This, yeah. this, this is the time he said he's going to come to the dark side with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but you see, now he's thinking no, about I it. No, I, the thing is that I, I'm not being judgmental about this. I just want to uh, wanna know that if that happens to me, then if in another situation, then I'm the one being uh, effed. I don't know if we say if we curse in here. But yeah. if, if I'm the one being effed, I would take the L. I, I would like okay. If but I that's but that's I mean, right I, because I you don't know because because that was your lack of knowledge. No, 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 I believe on the. Hold up. You you'll take the L. You actually be like you know what? No, 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 I asked no, no. for the other. No no no. If that situation happened, probably I would say nothing. Okay. If I think about it, maybe I would say, hey, this th this this piece that you give me is this much. I'm gonna give you a little bit much. Just you know. It depends. I what? Dude, don't no, believe I you. <laughs> <laughs> what? A if word <laughs> you're saying. If I think about it, if I think about it, I would, honestly, it would depend on the person. <laughs> I'm telling that, you, you don't know the person. It's a person that you don't know. It's okay. a person that, that, that is on the other side of the, of the world. And the, no, the, that's the country. when I knew. Okay, hold on. When okay, I knew. No, no, no. Let's, let's, play, let's play it all the way around. Let's say you knew the hold person. Okay, but you're not friends. You just know the person. You could play either way. What's when the I knew, when I knew that you did that with a reseller, that was perfectly fine. That was part of the game. But I know the person. What if it was? What if it was a woman selling everything she has to get some money to pay the IRS? And and if she and if she got it for that one, she got she got what she wanted. You you didn't put a gun on yeah, his that, on her thing. face when or anything like a, that. When you make a deal, okay. you make a deal. Now, in, in Ulysses, in Ulysses, uh, uh, what happened with him is that he, he bought what he paid for. And now he got something better out of it. That's not his fault. He he. I mean, why is he gonna say, "Hey, you know what? You gave me the wrong, the wrong, the wrong action figure." I asked for this one when he got a better one out of it. I mean, okay. And my then, what happens when you buy something and it's a bootleg? It, it arrives. It's a bootleg. What's your? Uh, you you yeah. No, you okay. No. The dif the difference between that is that. If we know we're buying a bootleg, we know we're buying a bootleg. Now, if no, you, no. If but he's telling you, telling okay. you that you thought you you were. Constantly buying an original, and he sends you a bootleg. Like, would you make a claim? No, no, no that's what I'm saying. So that's that's what I was getting. Would at. you would you so, take so the ale? No, 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 this, like no. So here's the deal. No, it's a difference. It, it's a difference because if I if I'm looking at an action figure, you send me a screenshot of an action figure, and then I get a bootleg. That's scamming. That's that, scamming. That's scamming. What happens if the person doesn't know? 
No, because he's putting yeah, something it, on the it, picture. You put a picture. He's you putting a picture know. as, a, as it, an original. It's like, it's like me saying, "Okay, I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you a Coca Cola, and I and I take you this. How are you not gonna know the difference? You you have to. That's know one the thing. No, yeah. I yeah. wouldn't. I, I wouldn't know the difference between a bootleg and a real one. And what if what? If, but what you're taking a picture for sale. You put. You ha, you yeah. should yeah. be taking the picture that you the one that you're exactly. gonna send. Yeah. And, and you could tell if it's a movie. yeah yeah because yeah. yeah you definitely could tell I mean yeah okay because so so, so uh, and if not you can say you always put in the description people always put in the description look at the pictures that's what you're getting mm -hmm. and that's happened plain before. and simple that's that happened that's happened before and, and I purchased stuff that I didn't read the description and I got screwed and what not you, screwed but it was, what do you do nah because it was my fault. Okay. I didn't read the description. Exactly. That's consistent. If you if you make if you make a big deal out of getting that and then try it. But to but but yeah, this one. If it is, I, I go I immediately I go immediately to the description and like, and I've told Carl, I've told Carlos a couple of times like. And I had to tell him. And, I had to get from and, here. And he read like, the dude, oh, read the description. Okay. And, and I've done a couple of mistakes and I take the L because it says no returns and it says. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Read the description and then in the description it says I'm like all right so I I. I Exactly, up. so that's good because now you're being consistent on what your actions are or what your actions no, are. No, yeah, for real. This, if, so it yeah. Is, if it is, if it is, if it is clear, okay. if it is like, yeah. But, I mean, um, I mean, it's, it's so we're not, we're not. Listen, we're not saying that everybody's just trying to get over every, everybody. That's not, that's not the. It's, it's moral of the story. Learn what you have. Yeah. Simple, like plain and simple, like. You're complaining so, about, so people, let me, let me play, about people don't knowing let me what play they have. Let me play who's, devil's advocate. Who's responsibility? Me, who's our responsibility? Let me play devil's advocate then. So, um, me doing this sounds crazy, but what what you said, learn what you have. So, if somebody if somebody says, well, you know what, I'm just getting into the line. I wish you would have. I wish I would have known. I wish you would have told me. Would you know? We could have more transactions together in the later future. Blah 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 blah. What would you say to that? Wait, what? Let, let's let's say let's say you you buy the figure, right? You buy a figure, mm -hmm. and you know that. Perfect example. Let's let's say you, the 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 situation with the muscle mutt, right? Mm -hmm. So the lady would have told you, "Hey, um, well, I sent you the wrong figure, you know." And and I, and and, I and no, she learned about it. Yeah, she okay. learned about it. But but what I'm saying is because I kept I kept dealing what, with her. What if, what if she would have said, "You know what? Um, if you send me the figure, we can make more transactions." I'll make more. If not, the the the, the line stops here. I'm, I can't say any more muscle months because you were being. I don't know what I don't know what I would have done. But I think in this particular case, she was a grown up, and if she if she learned about it, she okay. took the L. She she made the mistake. Okay. So she didn't know. So it's it's gonna. And she learned, and then after she learned, she made a lot of money off of. Everybody like, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure she didn't pay much for those figures. Yeah, yeah. Well, she found him like literally. Yep. She found him for free almost. I I, I always think I think that so the, whatever, whatever she got, it was more than what she. Yeah. So, so got and and, th and that's what I thought about the lot as well. I I felt like he got what what you know he got a good deal on the lot. He's gonna make a lot more money. He's gonna make a good amount of money on the lot that he bought. He sold the figure. We we came up. We came to a deal. Mm. You know I. Now, now, if 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 he was like, well, no, I want this much, and like, I don't care what you want. This is what I want to spend, and I'm taking it. And mm -hmm. if, if that's the way the transaction went down, then yeah, you know, I understand that. But the transaction didn't go down that way. So, I mean, yeah, it's a it's a tough. You know, we're supposed to be talking about happy, no, no, happy, so, and then it was it just went south really quick. Yeah, no, you know, it, it didn't go south. But, but, I mean, no, but, no, no. But but I honestly, I didn't think it was it was gonna go. But this, it always this happens way. like this. This is what good about this. It's podcast. good. It's good. Yeah, yeah we're, we're we're being you know transparent and clear. And like, yeah. if you guys hate us for it, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm pretty sure you will do the same. I don't don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. If you find a, a cheap figure <laughs> like a grail or whatever thing that you're looking for, and then you all of a sudden find it on the on the trip store Let, let's say that on the thrift store a lot of people find like super cheap uh figures on the thrift store you, would you go to the to the to the to the cashier and like hey you know you price this like five dollars for the lot and then only this figure is like hundred dollars yeah like nobody's gonna do that like everybody's gonna take the win and, and so and, all and, of a sudden it becomes so personal Whenever you're dealing with somebody in person, like oh, because you were looking at him, like, wait, wait, what? It's just the same thing. Like okay, one question. Okay, hold on. So, 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 perfect example. I'm glad you used that because that's a good terminology as well. So, as a reseller, as a reseller, you you need to know what what you're what you're selling. You need to know your product. If you don't know your product, you either get screwed, or people could talk about your price that they're too high, 
Or people could say, hey, he's too low. Let's go screw him. So at the end of the day, you need to know what, what you're selling. In that case, because, for instance, the, 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 the thrift stores. People go to thrift stores for what? To buy the, the, a product that could be the, the cheapest as, as it could be so they could resell it for what? For more. For profit. To make profit, right? So let's say let's say there's an action figure that's worth 200 bucks and they get it for $5. You think they're going to say, oh, no, I bought it for, at thrift store for $5. They're not going to tell you that. They're gonna say, "Oh, you know, yeah, this is one of you know one of a kind. Just, mm-hmm. uh, g- give me one fifty right now, and and uh, they profit all that money. I mean, but it's not us to say, well, where did you get it from? How much oh, do you know how about much it? You got it for, yeah, yeah. It, it, that's that, that's not our business. So we will never go and tell somebody, hey, now if, if it's a personal thing where, let's say, for instance, we're good friends, me, me, me and Yuli, we'll be honest, we'll be transparent, we'll be, hey, this is what it is, this is what we bought it for. Give me what I paid for, or or you know what, here, just take mm-hmm. it, whatever." Then, then and only then will I be like, you know what? That's where I draw the line where I won't scam a friend. I will never exactly. not say not saying and, that this guy's not a friend. You're scamming, but I don't think you were scamming nobody. That, that's what I'm saying, it, and, and that's what I'm saying. So scamming is one. Be thing. careful with the words that you use because you didn't scam okay. nobody. No, because we know people are gonna say that because people have said that before. Yeah, that's yeah. What, but, that's why I'm using so that what, terminology. So what, what, I, what I'm now like, yeah, but, but but what I'm saying like it's you're all now. Let's see it from the other perspective. Mm-hmm. Him as a reseller, do you think he always pays fair prices to the people that are selling their off, selling no, off their no, connection, no, no, no. their collection? He's always trying to lowball everybody because he's trying to make profit. Like, like why? Like, there's people that, like you. Some like most of the times he's gonna win, and then if if he if he lost on this one because he well, didn't know whatever, I don't know. I don't know how to how to explain it, but it, it well, I, I can't because why? Because I'm a reseller as well, so. When when you when you say low low ball, you like pretty much when, when, when uh, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, when, but that's when, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You gotta watch your words because then it, it looks. It's not necessarily low balling. It's, it's just not like, low ball, but it, you're trying to make as real. much profit. You're trying to maximize your profit, right? And as I say, yeah, yeah. And, and so as, 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 as a collector, as a, you're trying to make a uh, easy money. A quick yeah, so, mo- so that's a quick the way clip. it goes. As as a reseller, you're trying to you're trying to maximize your profit, but as a, as a buyer, you're trying to get the best deal you can. And so quick it's, money. It's, it's a give and take. It's yeah. a give and take. So the reason why a reseller is going to try to get the best money, the best bank for his buck, is because he knows that when somebody comes along, they're not going to give you exactly what you want for it. They're going to talk mm. price. They're going to negotiate. Yeah. I wanna, uh, uh, that's what I wanted to know. I was interested in knowing where you draw the line. You know these situations where in a big uh, retail store like Walmart or something, uh, mm. a, a, an employee makes, makes a mistake and a TV, instead of being $200, you put it at $2. And eighty-three cents, and then they have to sell a hundred units because people find out about it, and they have to sell it because that. What do you think in that situation? I don't think I don't think the the, the employer is gonna take the the L, right? So I don't think the the, yeah, the, the, the company is gonna has yeah. gonna have to back him up, and that's not his. Like I don't I, I don't I w- I wouldn't feel bad because I know Sam's is selling me a lot of stuff for a lot more than what he's supposed yeah. to be right so mm-hmm. I don't feel bad especially cuz you know it was it was it was an opportunity and I would, if I yeah, if I have the opportunity I'll take it but it's very rare that that one is very rare but it happens and if it happens it happens like a lot of a lot of uh, good friends of ours uh uh this guy told told us that he found a Lily Lady Boba Fett in another friend's store mm-hmm. not friends but another local yeah. store like and he's he had it like a regular Boba Fett, and it was a, a oh, Lily wow. Lady. Okay. So I'm like, is he gonna tell them like, hey, you have a Lily Lady Boba Fett, and I'm gonna pay you ten times more than than what you have it Gee, for? Man. Like I'm. Pff. Yeah. And what if what what if um, Carlos, you, you take your kid to t- to help you out to to the store, and then he puts a price wrong, and then a client sees it and wants to buy for that price because that was the price that he had. The way Carlos is, I'm, I don't I'm think gonna have gonna. To, I'm going to have to get a new son. A <laughs> <laughs> like, couple of slaps. And, uh, yeah, no. In that situation, you would sell it for... I mean, well... It, the, <laughs> it's so I, got, I got a funny story. So I got a funny story. All right, yeah. it, and it's kind of it's kind of the same topic. So, I mean, when, I, when we first started, you know, I had my sister with me because she partners up with me. And I have this wall, you know, full of, full of action figures. Mm-hmm. And I told her, look, this wall ranges from five to range it up to 100, 150 bucks. So this is one of the first times at the store, and the guys walked in. She goes, "Oh, well, welcome to back in time." Bro. She goes, "Everything in this wall is five dollars." I'm like, "No, no, ah, everything is uh, like, it's, it's price." Yeah. So, 
That's like you can't. <laughs> and the guy was like, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's like, really? And, and like, no, 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 I'm sorry about that. No, no, it's not. So uh, that, that's going. <laughs> that's but going if you were not be there? Yeah, I would have been there. Like, oh, my. I like, no, no, but no. But at the same time, I got my backup. Everything in that store is priced up. Remember yeah. that. Everything is priced up in that store. So there's nothing that, I, you know, but it, just, just. Speaking out, out of terms, you know, if my, if my son was there and he was, uh, he actually priced it up himself. Uh, for one, I'm preaching this. L- 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 knowledge is powerful, so make sure you know what you're doing. For, that's one. But two, if let's say he made a mistake and he didn't see that, it's a very uh, another thing that you preach it, about is keep your worth. Like, if yeah, you, yeah, yeah. I, I I can't go back. Hey, you bought it, you bought it. I can't go back and be like, I want it back because you didn't know. I mean, it, he walked out the store with it. He he purchased it. I j- that's the L that I gotta take. Mm-hmm. And that's that's the risk that I'm willing to take, just like the employee customer, the the the, the Walmart or Sam's or whoever, they risk, you know, their neck out to employ this guy. If the guy did, he made a mistake, that's that's on them because they decided to hire him. So that's not on that's not on the on the person himself. It is, but it isn't. Is there any other happy stories, man? I don't want to finish with the so, <laughs> with the controversy. No, no. So another happy story. Let's see. Um, we had a good one. Uh, this was a while back. And I got a good deal on it, and of course you 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 um got in it too, and 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 honestly, it kind of helped you get that Sam was was when I got that black belt on, you know. Okay, yeah. Th- that was a that's good. That's good. That's that's a good. That's, that's a good, that's a good story, story for you, not for me though. But yeah, yes, it is, I, I, yes, it is because guess what? I see a Sam over there, and that was part of the reason why <laughs> I would have got gotten, I would have gotten that one anyway somewhere else, but 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 it was but, a good deal for but, you. But it, but it was a good deal. It was a good deal. It was it was a uh, um, I I think I think me personally, I could say. There's multiple stories, like I I think I don't I'm not gonna say it was a hell of a deal, but finding the pieces, the little ladies that walked into mm, the store. Yeah, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't it doesn't have me to be fi- me finding the two the two uh, pizza cards five packs. Yeah, and and I was gonna bring that. So I was gonna bring that one up too, but just just it don't have to be the you don't necessarily have to get a good deal on it. It's just the rarity of it to find mm. just to find it is and sometimes when it comes to you you're not even looking for it yeah. that like you we talked about earlier the thrill of it that that those are the happy stories i know i could i could tell you a bunch of them fr- from the store itself i know you got you got those two five packs and i was like let me eat, <laughs> <laughs> let me eat. I, honestly I, I felt i felt i felt very tempted to keep them both and honestly oh a, lot of, a lot of people were looking for for, for them to, to for me to, to sell them one mm-hmm. I knew you wanted it. It was 2 a.m. That's why I couldn't reach out to you if you wanted it or not. I had to take it. Mm-hmm. Oh, you, you know I was going to get it. You know damn well. But I, I, didn't, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, like, you. I had to, So I paid for it, and I was like, got it. And I was like, oh, by any chance you want it? Like, yeah, you jumped on it right away. But um, I had to say it was me. But it happens. It happens again with a yeah. There's a few figures that just finding the piece. It's, I, it's, I mean, it, like, and the th- okay, here's a perfect one too. Um, I'm I'm very thrilled because today is a I did an unboxing here, in, mm-hmm. in the cave, and you know this is something that my brother Yuli helped me find. You know, he he told me, hey, there's a there's a thing you want it, like get it. I'll send you the money right now. Just mm-hmm. get it. You know, and those those are the things that you know. Those are happy stories because he's like, dude, you got it for and, a really good price, and, and you got you got it for a better price than, yeah, than yeah. I got mine. I'm like, and, and so for th- those are the type of things like you know, like I'm not gonna try to take advantage of you. Mm-hmm. You know, like hey, this is this is the piece. Yeah. Do you want it? This is how much it's going for, and just. So I, I I think there's a camaraderie there. There's a you know a friendship there that that plays into factor. But at the same time, even even like I said, with with, with my situation when I when I got the battle cat. Doesn't mean that I don't like the guy. We we talk. I think I think we're we spe- we're in good speaking terms. There's never, mm. but there's just so much you know, from friendship to to let me tell you. Th- let me tell you this. Let me ask you this. Okay. Do you think he would have done the same thing to you? I think he would have. If if, 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 if there was a piece look, that look, look, and I can tell you, look, there's been times that he's gone and tried to sell me stuff for more than I I know what it's worth, mm. and I. Like, you know, no, I, I could get it for cheaper. You know, I could. Are you sure you want it? You sure? Like, no, nah, I mean, I, I know, I know, I know. You're trying to. He's trying to take money. Yeah, it's yeah and, and it's fine. Like I said, but I'm, I don't, I don't see it like, oh man, how dare you try to come over here and disrespect me? No, I mean, I understand you're trying to make your money, so it's, it's okay. It's, it's part of reselling, because at the end of the day, like we talked about, it's, it's there's, a, there's a line between being a reseller, be, friendship, and you know, being a buyer. So, 
when it's a friendship, there's no there's no profit there. There's no there's honestly there's help. We're gonna help each other out, and we 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 made we made deals of of if if I if if stray cats were to come in front of me, mm-hmm. Ulysses is gonna be the first one to know it. I'll be tempted, but after that, you know what? I'm not gonna get him more so because of I know his, his passion for that line is a lot deeper than mine. It would be cool to have something like that because it's rare to get. I like rare stuff, but honestly, I, I think you were. You would be more happy than I would, I pre- and I appreciate and, that. And, 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 and that's what I'm saying. So <laughs> we were, we, I think we mentioned that in another podcast. Yeah. Like, I know you would like uh, the, the 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 Leo the, Faker, yeah, the and, and, you, and, and I, I I love to have, to get yeah. one. But if I find, I feel like I'll pass, yeah. I'll pass it. If, it, if it's a good deal, because I found a couple like super expensive, like that's anybody finds. Uh, right? yeah. But if I find a good one for a good deal, like I'm like I'll just pass it along. Yeah, and, and so and so that that's what I'm saying. But when it comes to like. We, we use that word people because people will say use that word scamming is one thing scamming is of course like we I talked think it's about. scamming is telling someone that he's We're getting them something that's not that's he's not, showing yeah. something and it's something different, and then yeah. selling something different and sending something different or or, mm-hmm. or 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 if you're buying it's like okay I want to buy you for that one and then you give him fake money that's a scamming yeah like or, or sending long, repo uh, parts to I mean I mean if like both I said, of them agree on the price and all that how, yeah. how is that a scamming and those, and those are things like I said that with that same guy I try to teach him don't at one point he was trying to do 3D printing or repro like don't don't ever do that dude you're gonna lose a lot of respect when people know you sell repro so those are those are like advice you know things like that I, I tried and I we'll do from time to time help him out as much as I can to teach him you know like don't don't do this because he's I guess he's still learning but at the same time you gotta know what you're selling mm-hmm. you gotta know your product because if you don't ima- imagine if I, you know not saying that I didn't think but I'm pretty sure things I walked out of his store, if he doesn't know, me personally, even if I don't know the line too well, I'm going to do everything in my due diligence to make sure I know what the hell I'm selling. And I know I'm not selling over market and I'm not selling mm-hmm. under market. And it's impossible to know everything. That's exactly. another thing. Yeah. Like there's cool, there could be, there could be things mm-hmm. that are going to be walking into your store and like, you're going to be, oh no, I'm not interested. And probably you let pass something mm-hmm. really big. I mean, it's a possibility, right? So I know, I know you're very, you're, you're very to, knowledgeable. I'm trying to think of, but, but but I'm pretty sure like there's there has to be yeah there's some, there's some toy lines, but but me what I do is I tell the guys hang tight, let me look into this, and I start yeah. trying to research as much as I can, and I don't just go let me look at the comps. Let me, no, I want I want to know a little about about it. If if they're willing to stick around, that's fine. If they're not, mm. then you know what? I'll take a picture of it. Let me do some research, and if you want to come back, come back. We'll figure things out, but yeah, no, you're absolutely right. It's not. I'm not gonna say every piece that's walked into the store. I like, you're one I know of the most knowledgeable. I know guys, what that is. But, but but I know. Yeah, there's the, nobody be, knows. Yeah, you know. nobody knows everything. That's exactly. For sure. So the, the, that's the way I I go about it because at the same time I don't want to screw that guy over. Now I have my. We joked about this with some of the guys we know, you know, and and I say you know I I pay a certain percentage of what of what the product is that way i can maximize my profit mm-hmm. and that's just the way it goes you know it's not no it's not low balling but i do tell the seller hey this is what i pay this is how much i i could go up if we look at the comp sales i'll look at them with you yeah that way you know i'm not trying to screw you over mm-hmm. i'm not trying to do anything like that no let, not let, trying to be yeah, funny or yeah like. let's let's be honest here this is what i pay if you're willing to take the deal Mm-hmm. Both ways. Always being yeah. honest. I think mm-hmm. honest, honesty in this in this industry is gonna take you. It's gonna take you the the long road. Like you know, I just, that's what I appreciate as a buyer. I always appreciate a, a, an honest uh, an seller, honest seller yeah. uh, and, and especially the ones that that kind of like teach you something. They the mm-hmm. ones there's people that are just like no, those are the prices and that's it. Like, they don't want to share anything. And there's a lot of sellers like Carlos and not only Carlos but like I I've been to to a few conventions mm-hmm. and then I go talking and then go and then they they will share like oh no this is this and this is that and this is more because this is the variant and this is for that year and this is mm-hmm. the reissue so when they're being honest instead of trying to be to sell it as the original like, no 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 is it a reissue all right okay thank you for, for letting me know yeah yeah all that stuff it's always appreciated so definitely yeah but one thing is being honest if they ask you. But if if they don't know, but they don't know. Yeah, no, no. If if, if it, it would have been different, I think you would tell me. So, tell me a little bit about it, and I'm like, I don't know nothing about it. And mm-hmm. and he's telling me, oh, you know. I just say, hey, I, I'm interested in he, it. He he bought it as a as a as a regular body call cat. He sold it as a regular body call. That's it, mm-hmm. bottle cat. Yeah. So I mean, that's just my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, but I mean, it's it's nah, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a it was but it, a but it's a, it's it was a, a final of the weekend. A, I was very thrilled about it. Final of the weekend, final of the month, man, maybe. For uh, that price, I, I, I don't know because I got those pizza cats, and I think I got a good price on them too. You got a good price, yeah. So I don't know, but I mean, cause I I mean I I like that battle cat, but I love me some pizza cats, well, so pizza I'm more cats, thrilled yeah. about those. The pizza cats, but of course, I mean, hey, you know, mm-hmm. it's a nice battle cat. It's still mean. well, you have two good finds. I don't have any this <sighs> month. I haven't had any this month. Oh, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no, even if you don't. I was thinking more about happy stories about things that that you find for cheap, or when you get a surprise. But it's, a, it's also a happy story even if you pay like regular price. Yeah, that's what I said. When you find that's exactly what I said. If you find a piece that you're like, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I, and I think I found a couple of good pieces. Oh like, yeah, the, the muscle the, man, man. That's the find of the year. The, 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 yeah, that's the, 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 the find of the, the year. Prototype, that's, that's the 2024. The sound yeah. like there's there's been a couple that, of. That's figures. why that's why I said it's not just about the money. It's Finding it, once finding, you're finding it, yeah, yeah. it, man. That that's that's a mm-hmm. happy story. Just, absolutely, absolutely. That's that's you know another another thing you could check off your list. And exactly, and, and hopefully you guys have more um, happy stories than, than scary yeah, stories. Yeah, tell me your Write opinions, down. guys. What you think? And uh, I don't know if uh, y'all follow me or not on Instagram, but I started doing these lives. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the day after the the um, the podcast, so usually on. Thursdays. Thursdays night, I, I sometimes do it at 8 p.m. Central or 9 p.m. Central. I still don't have a, a regular time. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys can join us. Uh, you can, you can. I'm trying to to get a couple of guests. Okay. If you've seen the, the 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 podcast, let's talk about the podcast, right? So if you if you have a request, if you have something to say, you have a couple of uh, happy stories. Send me a DM. Oh, yeah. if you want to participate awesome. on awesome. the on the on the live on Instagram. We love to interact. Yeah. Yeah, that because uh, we we record this, we're it's not live. We we recorded like a couple of days or a day before the day the, before the, the the day of the podcast. But uh, we'd love to get uh, a little more interaction. So if you guys want to participate, send me a DM on my Instagram, Kingscape eighty, uh, or Carlos, uh, back in okay. back in time slash toys back under, time on, on, underscore toys. underscore toys. Uh and yeah we'll we'll we'll, we'll arrange something to to be live and you guys That'd be let's, awesome, let's guys. talk yeah, let's this, talk about interact, yeah, interact about, yeah let's talk that. about the podcast I call it I, I call it a uh, podcast um, watch party huh watch party no, no watch party like, it, it was just podcast uh, rewind okay I, I like ca- that I call I call it like that every, every, every okay, I, I, okay, I'm I, putting I, a podcast I rewind I need to pay attention but okay I like that I you like see that. you don't pay attention to the ones that I, things that I do man come on. Uh, but yeah, I call it podcast <laughs> rewind. Uh, it's on on Thursdays on my IG live. So set time. I mean, let's do. You, do you have a set? I know you say you don't I have. Think a it set. Is, I think I'm gonna start doing it at 8 p.m. Central because you know it gives time to the Pacific. It's two hours earlier, so people can you know be out of yeah. work and then it's not too late for for east for us here over here east. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna do it at 8 p.m. Central. Uh, but yeah, follow us, follow us on Instagram, and if you want to participate, send me a DM. Uh, but we can add you for for the live on Instagram, and let's talk. Let's talk about happy, cool. like happy that. stories, and let's see what you guys think about the 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 if it is a scam or if it's not. Let's, yeah, let's I mean, hear that's, you that's what I'm saying. People, people you can, yeah, well, I would like to hear that. All right. See what people think. All right, guys. So thank you so much for 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 hanging out with us. Thank you, Isaias. It's thank a good you, podcast. Guys, I had a lot of you. fun. Yeah, yeah. And thank you, Carlos, for coming I, I, around. I, I didn't we know. Did, we didn't put any 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 figures today because I was just too tired to. I don't know. I was. I didn't know. I was sitting next to an angel. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He will, I don't, I don't, I, I don't believe a word. He's like, I will return to the, and I will send him extra money. Lies, <laughs> lies. <He's> like, yeah. <laughs> All right, see you guys. See you. <laughs>